my mum had become a Christian in 1958 and basically her life was transformed. And my brothers and I and my dad, we all went to church and Sunday school. And I remember as a kid, I just remember liking it a lot. It was a part of who we were as a family and that's what was expected, that we would go to church and, and learn. And I remember as a kid enjoying the uh, gatherings, the activities, the Bible readings, the singing. I knew Jesus was real as a child. I knew him as someone who existed, but also someone who was the saviour of the world. When I was in my early 30s, my, my peers, the friends I had, and my brothers, I had five brothers, they were actually all married. And I was not married and had no prospects at that point. It was a very lonely time, uh, quite a, a trying time. Um, I had my motorbike, I had the farm. but I needed someone. So I had determined in my heart that I would marry a Christian lady. That was like a foundational thing that God had put there. That, that was just what I wanted. And I believe God would give me that in time. But it was a long time coming. I met my future wife in September of 1995 through a couple of Christian friends who arranged a date and I was 39 years old. God spoke to me very clearly. He said, this is it. This is the woman you are to marry. It was as clear as anything. And we were married in the next year. Kathy had three teenage daughters and it was a big challenge. It was epic, it was, it was pretty darn hard. But that was a huge adjustment, a huge challenge for all of us to become a family. In lots of ways that made Kathy and I as believers draw close together in prayer and close to God because it was, it was tough going. It was really tough. But in lots of ways, God used that to draw both Kathy and I to prayer, to understand that we're in this together, despite the challenges. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. That became a very key thing in our marriage, in our prayers, in our life. As a result, our marriage became very strong. And we were blessed with two children, with Emily and Tom. Who made us a complete unit. Because we all belong to each other. Life throws lots of challenges and we can feel very alone. But it is so good to know that God has a plan for our lives to know that he guides us, he directs us, 
even in those times when it's scary, when it's dark and you can't see beyond. And in the midst of years of loneliness, that he still has a plan for our lives. And that God is with us and he's absolutely for us.